Hello everyone, today I will show you how to remove the password on your Windows XP or Windows Vista machine. Many times users will simply forget their password and will need to reset it in order to gain access back to their machine. As always, only perform these kinds of techniques on computers you own, as it is illegal to be performing them on anyone else's computer without their permission. So right here I have Backtrack 4 open. Uh, you may have Backtrack 3 or another distribution, but uh, any kind of Backtrack distro will work for sure. Uh, if you ever need any tutorials or help getting Backtrack running on your computer, send me a comment, email, anything that will get my attention and I will help you out. I may even do a video tutorial if I have enough requests. Well, here we are in Backtrack and what we're going to do is load up our program. And so we go to Backtrack folder and we're going to go to Privilege Escalation, Password Attacks, and then CHNTPW. Don't know what that stands for, but very good tool and that's what we're using. So you can see here is a program, and we're actually going to be using the interactive flag here. What this does is it just lists all the users, and uh, it'll ask us which, which one we want to change. And so we're going to type the program name again, and I just tabbed it out. Um, again, tabbing out is just like finishing the first three or four letters and pressing tab, and generally you'll find the right uh, program you're looking for. And I'll press the dash I because I want to make sure to use this command right here. And then I'm going to type in where my SAM file is. The SAM file is what Windows stores all the passwords in in uh, Windows. So what we're going to do is uh, tell uh, this program where to look. And it may be different for you. It may be a, a different drive. Mine is actually HDA1. It could be HDB1 or SDA1, any, any combination. But uh, I'll go more into that detail later. So right now I'm just going to type mine out, and like I said, it might be different for you. So dash mount, and then key, slash, or my bad, slash mount, then hda1, slash window, slash system32, slash config, and then sam, type the name. And we're just going to press enter. And you can see right here that it says edit user data and passwords. And that, that's the selection we want, so we're going to press 1. And I'm going to move the password on my account, Josh. And so that's simply what we're going to type in here. Uh, it could be administrator for you, or it could be your name, or whatever account you're trying to unlock that you have control of. So um, I'm going to type in Josh. And it, you can see it has uh, about five different options here. And what you want to do is uh, number one, which will clear our password. And so I'm going to press one, and that's going to clear. And you can see here it says password cleared. That's what we want to see. That means it went off without a hitch. But here's something else I like to do real quick. Uh, let's type in our name again, uh, which mine is Josh. And always go back and press 4. Because I've noticed that sometimes whenever you change an account, the password will then, I mean the account will then become locked. So we're going to do 4 to make sure it's unlocked. And, there's, and there you can see it says unlocked. And so now we want to quit. And we'll do that by using an exclamation mark. And press enter and then go to Q to officially quit. And it's going to ask you if you want to save. It says write high files and we're going to press yes. Y for yes. And there you go. It is successfully written to the SAM file. And when we, re we reboot, it will correctly uh, get us through the login process without asking for a password on that account. Well, there you have it. That's how you can reset the password on your account. If you have any questions or any comments, please feel free to ask, and I'd love any feedback y'all can give me. Until then, send me any uh, requests y'all have for videos.